Central Catholic is coming off an 11 goal win over Liberty, looking to string a few together here midway through its 2024 campaign. Senior Luke Shimko is first to get the ball rolling, feeding inside to Liam Farrell. He executes crossbody for a short lived celebration as Nazareth ties it up at one apiece. Anthony DeFrancesco turns and fires the first of three straight here in the first. Last of the run, Jaden Wolf's pass gets tipped, but Blake Smith, incredible awareness. He picks up the loose ball, shoots low to high, and the Blue Eagles have a two goal lead into the second. Nazareth would add on with three straight from the home team. Owen Hansel scoring on the drive by before he finds DeFrancesco hitting that far corner at the buzzer. The Blue Eagles hype headed into the lockers with a 6-2 lead. Cole Angeline was a menace at the midfield, making things happen for his squad. Smith controlling the deflection. A couple cradles and Nazareth is up 7-2. A quick 1-2-3 punch ending with Shimko stops the streak. His first of back-to-back -back for his Vikings, cutting the deficit in half. The visitors coming within a couple after Jack Rostino goes 1v1 with Colby Landis. It's 8-6 into the fourth. Jack's brother Michael Rostino also also finds himself with a one on one. Things getting tight as Smith once again finds the back of the net. By the end of the fourth, we'd be all tied up at nine apiece, forcing some extra lacrosse here at Nazareth. Both goalies stood on their heads in this one. Central's Chris Burke had 16 saves. On the other end, it was Colby Landis making some crucial stops, giving his team a chance, and they take it. Blake Smith from the top skims the carpet, and Nazareth wins it in overtime. 10 to 9, the final. We have an attacker that can really ride, and it was just Misa at the midline. If he gets across, let's cause havoc. And great ride by Blake Smith there. He got the ball out. We got I picked up the ball, and we had the high carried guys over, and we got an um, offsides call there to put his man up for the goal at the end there. It was a really great moment. It all started with that ride. I got the trail checked, yard sale. Boys are going crazy. Um, just moving the ball around. I found the open lane, stepped in, kind of closed my eyes and prayed. It went in. For years, Nazareth has been on the outside looking in. The Blue Eagles looking to change that this year in this overtime victory over Allentown Central Catholic. A huge step beating the Vikings for the first time in a decade. You know, there are five big lacrosse teams in the Valley right now, and Central Catholic is one of them. And for us to beat one of the big five teams, means that maybe we're going to be a big five team too, or a big six team. And let's let's start pushing it. You know, we still got Emmaus, we still got Parkland, we still got Easton this year. And I think it teaches these kids that we can be in any game. I've been on this team for four years, and this entire time we've been preparing for just this moment to make our big uh, stand for against a big team and make our just try to prepare for the playoffs. And this is what we just do. We put in the uh, work in the off season, trying to get to this moment and. We got here, we win, and we're on to the next team. At Andrew S. Lay Stadium, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.